Cavities are caused by plaque attacking your teeth. A cavity is a hole in your enamel and could possibly make its way into your inner tooth. If you don't keep your teeth clean, you may have cavities all over your mouth. They came up with a list of things such as smoking and healthy eating, proper fitness, uh, playing sports, um, cyberbullying, uh, or just bullying in general. Did you know a lot of kids move schools because of bullying problems? Do you all like being bullied? We don't. And they came up with those ideas on their own. And then once we had a list of about 10 to 15 different factors in society that may influence somebody, then they chose their favorite two, and then we paired them together. One person up there all alone might be a bit intimidating, so we wanted them to have a partner. <clears throat> and we matched up partners with like interests, and that's when they then began starting their research. Each partnership would go and find, would click on their specific links, and they would look through it, they would read it. Miss Laura and Miss Sylvester and I, uh, we, we made it a point to make sure we uh, reviewed with the kids on how you could look at a big piece of text and not necessarily read every word of it, but look for the keywords that would be applicable to their topic. Here's a fun fact. Over 71 million American households have a pet. Isn't that possum? The day of the presentations, I don't think it could have gone any better. We had parents there, administrators, other classes, teachers, the kids, uh, the students had practiced in class many times in front of their peers and their peers gave them feedback. And after a lot of practice, a lot of memorizing of the script, the, the day of was exciting. The kids were real excited and really proud when they were finished. So you think they pulled it off? Oh, they definitely pulled it off. They have been working really hard practicing writing the scripts. I am very proud of you guys. You guys did a great job and we all learned some very important lessons today. That experience, getting up in front of a live audience and speaking, and not only speaking, but speaking with confidence, with their shoulders back, standing up straight, facing the audience. There's also the element of researching. At that age, sometimes it's hard to distinguish what information is exactly applicable to their topic, and that was a great exercise for them, and they did, they, they got that idea. They got that, that concept down. Thirdly, what the students, I feel, really got a lot out of in this super unit was working together and collaborating with another student. The students did not choose their partner. We paired them up based on their interest. And in the end, even those partnerships that struggled ended up being very successful. A great lesson to learn. How to work with a partner and maybe give and take and learn how to compromise for one common goal. Well, I hope our respectful audience members learned a lot from our short but knowledgeable speech. Once again, I'm Misha. And I'm Nam. Thank, Thank you, you for, for your time. time. Good job.